How did Jamie Benn go from an overpaid liability to once again one of the best power forwards in the NHL and getting 79 points? We're going to be breaking down the Benessons in the first episode of NHL Film Review. Now, the first big difference between 2022 and 2023 to me is the speed. You can see this clip against the Lightning in 22, where Rupe Hintz is a rocket on skates, while Ben is just kind of slow as molasses. Jim Neal told him in the offseason to improve on his skating, and he did. The work is paying off, and you can see on this goal just how fluid it is. But that explosiveness really took a step. His hockey IQ and positioning was always elite, but you can see that extra step of quickness results in plays like this, highlight reel plays that we haven't seen in years with Jamie Ben. The second biggest difference between the years for me with Jamie Ben is that complete turnaround in finishing. You see on plays like this, lost in play, can't find the tip, and you wouldn't see that before with Ben, especially in his prime. This clip in 2022 really shows the lack of confidence and power that he had in his shot back then. And this was another thing that Jamie Ben worked a ton on in the offseason, but especially on the power play, that finishing was brought back to life in a huge way and really made that entire power play dynamic so much more complete. This clip could honestly be prime Jamie Ben with how electric it is that backhand just absolutely gross you would never see that in 2022 but the confidence is really shown in this stat in 2022 he got nine wrist shot goals on 121 wrist shots in 2023 though he got 19 wrist shot goals in 100 wrist shots better efficiency more goals but to me maybe the biggest revival came with his playmaking we saw 28 assists out of Jamie in 2022 45 in 2023 the most since 2016 and this is where I think the pairing of him with Wyatt Johnston has really helped the most these two are completely different but in the best ways and complement each other so well with Wyatt Johnston Ben has been given the opportunity to work with a younger player who's fast who's quick can work off his playmaking and really get the best out of it that confidence and playmaking is really what's improved the most and you can see on this clip against the Florida Panthers what he was able to do here unbelievable play to find Esalen Dell out of nowhere and set up the goal that talent and hockey IQ was always there but the confidence and determination offensively has really put Jamie Ben over the top you combine that with a brilliant offseason of work and Jamie Ben's career is back to a great level and now his contract isn't the worst in the league thank goodness but that'll be it for the first episode of nhl film review but a lot more to come if you guys did enjoy hit that follow hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one have a great day and goodbye